Good morning and welcome to Homes and Cooking. Today we're going to have a special video with a special project. We're going to be staging a really beautiful house. I'm sorry it's another beautiful house. I'll try and find an ugly one, I promise. But we're going to be staging this house that's already gorgeous and putting on some makeup so that it's even more gorgeous. -er. So we start here. Here is a view of a car full of staging stuff. See, you thought this job was easy. Well, not so. We're going to be walking in through the garage and I'm going to be just showing you a couple of the rooms before and after staging. Sorry, if I knew how to edit this bloody thing, you wouldn't have to be walking through the garage. But I don't. So la la la. We're going to do the best we can and you're going to have fun. Okay, I promise. So I'm also going to be showing some of the ocean view. Here's a guest bedroom. Sorry about the voice clear. And right now it's got a bed with white um, bedding. <laughs> Duh. And a little table. So just remember this one. We're walking down the hall. And we're going to be taking just a short look at this kitchen. Which actually is fabuloso. It's a beautiful kitchen with gorgeous ocean views. But just take a look at what it looks like. Um, just a little, not so much that it's plain, it's beautiful, but it just needs a few extra touches to make it come alive. And that's all what staging is about. So we're walking here into the living room. The living room is gorgeous. And it's gorgeous because you can't see out those windows, but there's an amazing ocean out there. So here's just the living room. It looks pretty darn good. We're just going to kick it up a little bit. Give it a little salsa. The family or media room is in to the left. Again, it has an ocean view and beautiful florists, cherry wood. But uh, again, just needs a little kick up. And it's amazing what staging can do. It's like putting makeup on a really pretty girl and making her already pretty or putting makeup on a girl that's not so pretty and making her really, 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 really pretty. Here's the dining room table. I'm showing this to you because I staged it this way a few years ago when the Tuscan look was really big and now we're going to give it a whole different face. So remember how it looks now. Okay, here we go. Walk with me. Walking, 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 walking. Walking, walking. This house is uh, located at Winded Sea Beach. Now you can see what we're talking about. It's got amazing, amazing ocean views. You can walk to the sand. As soon as we list it, you're going to be the first to hear that it's uh, probably going to be in the high five millions. And uh, for the right lucky person, it's worth every penny. So here we go again. Just a little shot of the patio. Nice table, but uh, we just need to kick it up and give it some oomph. Okay, there you go. Let me let you look at the view again. I'm gonna take one more shot of the living room, pan it in, and we're just gonna kick this up a little. See this empty space here? This is a really important um, part of the staging process. We couldn't figure out what to do with this. Here we have this house that's drop dead gorgeous, but we couldn't figure out how to fill this space. And after I stage, we'll show you what we did. Okay, so one more shot of the kitchen and we'll be cleaning up some of these items like the interesting hat collection on the side. And all this is great when you're living in a house, but when you're trying to sell it, it has to have a whole different face. Okay, or not a different face. Just, as I said, put some makeup on it. I'm gonna sh wish you could see the ocean through these windows, but the light is shining. So we'll do a shot right through here. And uh, a quick cooking tip. If you're really, really in a hurry and you want something super healthy, get some whole wheat pasta and penne or spaghetti. And uh, for a quick sauce, saute some uh, garlic, fresh garlic, fresh basil and some extra virgin olive oil. Saute it till the garlic gets soft and then add some peas. Frozen peas are great and even a 
few frozen carrots, but I like it just with peas, and then uh, put it over the whole wheat pasta with some Parmesan cheese, and I swear it's yum malicious. It's super easy, and I must eat that at least, I don't know, once a week when uh, I get grumpy and don't want to feed anybody except myself. So thank you so much for coming to Homes and Cooking, and we will give you the stage version on next week's segment, and you'll see what just a few things can do, a few things, hardly, I have a whole car full of things, but that's why everyone loves me. So this will be Willis Allen Listing. This is Gloria Gillette, 858-775-9380. Have a great and sunny day.